The automobile industry is hoping for some big bang reforms from the budget, one that will drive growth, innovation and sustainability within the sector. They want greater emphasis on boosting rural income, which in turn could drive an uptick demand for automobiles, especially two-wheelers. Focus will also be towards capital expenditure, which has an emphasis on infrastructure development, because that can act as a catalyst for overall economic growth. Now, the auto industry particularly wants Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman to provide measures that will go on to also promote the wider adoption of EVs and also additional incentives for scrapping old vehicles and the likes. So, if I were to look at the two-wheeler segment specifically, they are pinning their hopes on an announcement around incentivizing or incentives like the FAME 3.0 or faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles. Such incentives could actually make electric two-wheelers more affordable and also accelerate their adoption. According to a Morgan Stanley report, two-wheelers, three-wheelers and even e-buses are likely to be a key focus area for the government as the current Electric Mobility Promotion Scheme or EMPS goes on to end by July 31st, 2024. And the industry is anticipating more support also for local battery production and innovation, which will be critical for the sustainability and cost effectiveness of electric vehicles. And if the government actually wants to achieve this target of having 30% electric vehicles on the roads by 2030, the expansion of this FAME program will be something that the industry would want Finance Minister to speak about. Let's not forget the auto ancillary industry. The Automotive Components Manufacturer Association or ACMA has suggested incentivizing CAPEX within the industry by reintroducing additional investment allowance provisions. Also by increasing depreciation rates on plant and machineries by 15% to 25% and rationalizing GST rates also that could go on to help for EVs as well as its components. On the other hand, the Federation of Automobile Dealers Association of FADA has urged the Finance Minister to introduce the benefits of claiming depreciation on vehicles of individuals who are paying income tax. They would also like to reduce the corporate tax for the limited liability partnership propriety and partnership firms as most of these traders within the auto dealership community fall under these categories. So this is what they would want to hear from the auto industry. They do keep their hopes high on what finance minister will go on to deliver. Stocks like at Bajaj, Auto, uh, TVS, Hero Motor Corp, especially from the two-wheeler segment, have seen a, a swing of uh, their stock performance in the past few days. But they all will be waiting to see what finance minister will go on to deliver.